Good morning, folks. Today we're going to look ahead at the incoming solar wind from the northern coronal hole. We've got minor eruptive activity on the sun as well. June Global Climate Report came out, and once again it requires a bit more than a passing glance to see what's going on. Got storm alerts as well, but let's say goodbye to the massive flare-making sunspots last glimpses of umbral magnetic fields here. We've got a blank disk as we go to spaceweathernews.com. Sunspot count is zero. Somehow we still see some pops here and there. One at the end frame there came from an area I'm waiting to turn into an active region with sunspots. Alas, it did put out a little release two months behind Earth's orbital position and appears to be active corona only as there are no sunspots at that point this morning. Eyes on it. One of the plasma filaments we've watched standing tall at the limb decided he'd have better luck back down at the photosphere than testing the Earth face in quiet. Little guy on the south doesn't know any better. He'll learn. Right now, solar wind is very calm, particle speed and yellow calming and steadying as we await the stream from the northern coronal hole. Density shockwave could get here as early as tonight with the speed likely ramping up on Friday. Folks, let's peek in on the climate update from June. This is what you'll see spreading around the internet, but the actual temperature readings above versus below average is this. The first one is a percentiles view, and it is difficult to see a lot of the connection between the maps. So let's start in North America, and let's watch blue disappear. That's going to be today's game, folks. We'll be watching definitive temperature readings that are below average, either washed out as white or blatantly pushed into red on the more popular chart. And while there should be some color shifting between maps under no circumstances, should a blue block go red, not if the actual reading is below average temperatures. This one is painful to see, isn't it? Let's jump up north of that. Oh, at least the coldest anomaly of the last month didn't disappear entirely. What happened in India and China? Okay, no way to eliminate this much blue coverage, right? Si o no? Ay way, no está la respuesta correcta. Folks, I've saved the best for last South Indian Ocean to the South Atlantic beneath South Africa. Not only do the seas take a revision, but Antarctica's record low temperatures were completely omitted from the chart that they'll send around to the media. I'd like to do Europe's wind map now because the top alert is a few hours away on the island. That is going to cause severe flash flooding, so eyes open across the pond. Couple quick notes for our users. If your app just stopped pulling up a page or the settings just out of nowhere all of a sudden, I bet your app has been running in the background for weeks. Close out the app, reopen it. It's like magic. Even I had a frustrated hour yesterday before simply closing the app and reopening it. No current glitches. Also, folks, I'd like to remind everyone that this is available almost anywhere you can buy books. If you happen to be one of the ones who got one of the shipping damaged books or a print error, we have had 100% replacement from our manufacturers, so don't be frustrated. Make them give you a new one. Positive reviews for both the book and the app are one of the best ways you can help spread the word. We've got the rest of the world's wind maps and shots of our star to close. We will do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.15 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.